For the next three minutes, I have the opportunity to speak with complete freedom and frankness, something I nor my family and friends are allowed to do in Tibet. My name is Sonam So. I'm the Campaigns and Communications Director at Students for Free Tibet International, working to bring freedom to the Tibetan people. As a child of refugees, I am committed to and passionate about working to end state violence and discrimination in securing human rights for all. Today, I'm here representing Some of Us, a global consumer advocacy group that represents 14 million people in 150 different countries, alongside the countless people who don't have the freedom to publicly voice their concerns, but will certainly be affected by your decisions. We are increasingly concerned about the negative effects technology companies like Alphabet have on people across the world. Today, I ask you to think and act with these people in mind. Today, I ask you to vote for Proposal 10, which calls on Alphabet's Board of Directors to retain advisors to study strategic alternatives and empower a committee of independent directors to evaluate those alternatives, which may include unification of Class A and B shares or sale or other disposition of assets. We believe that Alphabet has grown to a size and complexity that is unmanageable, as evidenced by numerous failures of oversight and management. It is to the advantage of shareholders to be proactive in determining the company's next steps rather than waiting for antitrust regulators to set a path. I come from a country where people are imprisoned for using search terms that the Chinese government doesn't like and considers sensitive. These human rights violations are real and Google must not be complicit. Frontline communities don't have the luxury of waiting for all your hypotheticals to turn into real risks for us. We have, you have violated the trust that your customers place in you and that is bad for shareholder value. Google's willingness to collude with the government of China sets an extremely dangerous precedent for internet freedom around the world. Alphabet has been extremely slow to restrict the spread of hateful and extremist content on its platforms. It's time Alphabet accepts responsibility for the part it's played here and takes steps to make the company more manageable and its management more accountable. Over 86,000 Some of Us members have signed a petition asking Google to cancel Project Dragonfly, including 1,401 Alphabet shareholders and 96 workers. The reputational risks is real. In addition, over 1,300 Some of Us members wrote to their pension funds asking them to support this proposal. Alphabet shareholders, your vote on this proposal will impact the company in many ways, but I ask that you remember, above all, your vote impacts human beings. Vote for Proposal 10, vote for Alphabet to be a more responsible company.